Monumental brass plaques commemorating local gentry and important citizens were often installed on the floors of British churches from the 13th to 16th centuries. In the late 19th century, it became popular to reproduce those images by laying paper over the brass and rubbing the surface with a glob of black wax called a heel ball. We have nearly a dozen brass rubbings in the collection because they are excellent at representing the fashions of the period. Currently on display in the museum's foyer is his 1437 rubbing from Thorncombe Church in Dorset, depicting Sir Thomas Brooke and his wife, Joan Hannam. Sir Thomas was the largest landowner in Somerset and a member of Parliament. He was also a Lollard, which was someone who scorned the ostentatious wealth and ornate trappings of the Roman Church, and believed the Bible should be translated into English for all to read, essentially a kind of forerunner of the Puritans. When he died in 1418, he requested to be buried in a simple grave. However, his wife, who was not a Lollard, commissioned the brasses to depict both of them after her death in 1437. Both Thomas and Joan are wearing necklaces with S-shaped links that show their support for the kings of the House of Lancaster, Henrys IV, V, and VI. Brass plaques are slowly worn away by the rubbing process, and the practice is now largely banned across the UK, except for where replicas have been made for the purpose of creating rubbings.